Oh, I know exactly what I did wrong. Hey, welcome back to another episode of Wee Wee Bills. Today, what we're gonna do is work on the 2021 Ford Escape again. So we got a window regulator that we gotta put in today because I'm gonna show you exactly what's going on with my window because it's not going either up nor down. So we end up getting this part from the parts car. So now we're gonna put it on onto the other Ford that I'm driving. So anyways, like, share, subscribe, drop your comments and thoughts down below. Turn your post notification on. Don't forget to check us out on all social media links and don't forget to just hit up on every single social media. But anyways, let's hop straight into this video where I'm gonna show you exactly what's going on. So what I'm trying to do is to get this window to work, but it's not. So as you can see, when I press it, you, you hear that sound. And then when I press it, it just doesn't really wanna go up. But as you can see, I could do this with my hand and it comes up. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get some tape, tape the window, and then I'm gonna start removing all the screws from here. So we should have one screw right here, one right here, one over here, one right here, and then two, one on this side and one on that side. So, I don't need it. So what I'm also gonna do is, I might take the speaker out, so I'm not sure. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the ign I'm gonna turn the ignition off. Once I turn the ignition off, then um, I'm gonna see. But yeah, that's the issue. So it's only either the wire came off or something. But see, it's not going up anymore. So we definitely know the motor is still good and whatever. So we'll figure it out. So. Yeah. all right so since i have the window all the way up what i'm gonna do is tape it and then once i tape it then i'm gonna basically uh, um, once i tape it then i'm gonna basically deal with it, handle it so i will just do that right now and come back so what i'm gonna do is put this painter's tape on it but I'm also going to use one of the duct tapes as well to put on so I couldn't figure it out on the parts car when my dad ended up helping me so I could figure out where it exactly what was the last bolt that I was looking for so I'm gonna show you that bolt inside this should be enough but I want to be a hundred percent sure all right so let me see if y'all could see everything so i just taped it off all right now what i'm gonna do next is now that i just taped it off i'm gonna start removing the spots where these bolts are at you should be able to see but as i said you're gonna have one right here one down here one right here one right here two down the bottom so, Thank you. 
So those two are exposed. And then the two under the bottom. I think they are 10 millimeters. I'm not 100% sure. No, they're not. I guess they're. I guess they're eight millimeters. There. Eight is either eight or seven. I'm gonna try the seven first and see. All right, I could try the eight because I got eight right here. Yeah, so it's definitely seven. To get this off there's are some clips that you got to push up on so those clips that you got to push up on I'm gonna show you now the next thing is it basically clipped out basically because I was pushing up on it but this is like another piece I just gotta clip it back in to the door in the door handle. Now now that we have that here, so I'm gonna disconnect the speaker. Or I probably could just take the whole speaker out with everything. And then I'm gonna disconnect this motor right here. Um all these cables, the the wires, I'm gonna just put up on these wires. And then take them out. And then hopefully, I remember it. Well, I'll probably have to rewatch the video to see where I could get to. Um, I remember how all these wires are routed. But I just know the bigger one is for the motor. Last one is out. Uh, boom. So wires are removed and this. So now I think this is a T25. So once I get that T25 and use that T25, it should unlock every single one of these, and then I should be able to. And then the the, the, the other screw that I'm looking for is going to be right behind here. And then I want to say this is for the lock, but I removed them off the other car. But this, I'm gonna remove that next. And then this. So that's the, I think that's a 10 millimeter bolt. Okay, 10.
All right. So that 10 millimeter, that holds on to the glass. Now when I turn these with all the T, the T20 or T25, then we should be able to pull down the regulator. I would have done this earlier, but I couldn't do it earlier because the sun is really hot um, out here in Arizona. So, but um, yeah, so. So now, what I'm gonna do is put the T25 or the T30 in there, and that should basically help me to remove the whole thing. I guess the T25 didn't work, uh, so I'm gonna try the T30 and see if that's gonna be the one that really works. All right, all right. So the T30 works. All right. So that's unlocked. When you turn it to the left, everything is unlocked. Now that we have all these loosies loosened, it should be able to come out. So even though I'm taking it out, now you have two clips, right? Or I want to say hooks. So there's two hooks. There's one on this side and one on that side. So what I'm going to have to do is push up and pull it out. Push up on that side, pull it out. All right? So now all of that, is, all of these is out. Now, you can look and you see that the, the, the bolt is coming down. So I'm gonna wiggle it a little. Hopefully, I don't break the glass. So, I'm trying to see if I can wiggle it out a little bit. Um, what I am gonna check for is yeah, the cable. So, the cable is not connected. So, more than likely, either the cable snapped or the cable just became loose. So, um, check to see if all right all right so i think i might have to loosen these two bolts on onto the side right here because it's not coming out as easy so and i don't want this to pull the whole glass out so i'm gonna loosen these two bolts right there i think those are the t25 all right so these are the t25s I'm gonna remove them and see if that gives me the the help that I, the help that I want. So there's a hook behind it. All right. Um, what I'm probably gonna try to do is lower the, the glass a little bit and then see if that's gonna help. If that does help, then I should be able to to get it out. But there's a a hook behind it right so the hook behind it is holding the windshield it's, it's basically another thing to hold make sure everything stays in place so i'm gonna try to push my hand behind there and see if i could loosen it if not then if i can't get it unhooked then more than likely i'm gonna have to lower it and i think that's what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna lower this glass a little bit and then see what happens Hopefully that, so now, if you can see it, you see how it's coming down now? So this is how it comes down all the way from the the, uh, the windshield. So there's a hook now, and I need to unhook it right now. I'm talking about is these two hooks right here. I'm gonna put you in the light. So these two are the hooks that I'm talking about. Now, at the back of it, sorry. 
Hold on, let me see if I can turn my outside light on. So, what it looks like is either this came off the track or something. Oh, so it came off this pulley right here. Because one should go around that pulley, and then the other should go around this bottom pulley right here. So, what I can do is take out these bolts. So I'm gonna go inside so you can, I can explain it a lot better. So these are the, the, the three bolts that um, hold the, the other thing that's built inside. So what I'm gonna do is, I could do two things. I could try to fix it or I could just go away with it and then just basically put the other one in from the other car but I want to just see dig more into it and see if I could explain it a lot better All right, so I gotta remember on the other car on the other one because I did remove the motor from the other one because this is the motor that I removed from the other one so I wanted to make sure I place it in the exact same place so this is the one that I got out of the parts car. You see how you see it goes all the way down, comes up here, and then it goes behind here. So as you can see how I already removed that motor. So now I know, hey, just to make sure that I put it back in its exact position. It looks like <clears throat> the cable basically got wrapped up inside of here and damaged the seal on the motor as well. Yeah, because the seal on the motor is damaged. So, and the motor is quite hot. So I don't know if the motor is working overtime or what, but you see, all of the cable has been chewed up and bent up inside. So, yeah. yeah so, no, no, so we, we probably could fix it, but I'm not gonna waste my time to fix it. But now we know exactly yeah, what happened to this one. So the next thing that I am going to do though is remove this speaker and put it on the other one because since this is a speaker that came out of the car, I don't know if that speaker is bad or not. So I'm gonna remove this speaker, put it on the other one, basically bolt back up everything together and see what happens. And then we're gonna test it, make sure it works good and then we, we, we basically throw us in the trash because it's all damaged and everything. What I, now this gave me another idea. I need to remove the rest of, the, the rest of these um, window regulators from the other car. So just in case if this happens to me again, then I know exactly what to do. So what I'm gonna do right now is just remove these others and then, and then keep going. This is probably a six millimeter. I think this is a seven then, if that doesn't work. All right, so remove this and then put the speaker on the other one. And then we're gonna put back the motor on the other, on the other one too. Cause now that we know that, hey, that's something that we need. And then go check back and see whatever we broke off the other one and then see if we could get it off the parts car and then put everything back together let's go it's a little bit dark all right not a little bit but a lot dark right now all right what i'm gonna do now is start putting the regulator back in um to put the regulator in is i need a 10 millimeter socket and then so i could put that Tighten that bolt back on. And then once I tighten that bolt back on, then that should help basically put it back in. So now I'm gonna hook the regulator back in. Now what I'm gonna do is remember how I said from earlier where you have the two hooks up here. So now I'm gonna install the hook back inside the window. So once I hook no, I don't need to tape. So when I hook the the um 
the hooks inside the window, then I should be able to put my 10 millimeter bolt back in. So. So the clips, remember when I said you gotta lift up? Those clips basically hold this thing in. So that's what I did wrong. Alright. So, yeah, so those clips in, in, in the back. So you remember when I said there's one clip right here and one clip over there that you just basically push up and it should basically locked in place. out but to put that in no not yet but to put back in give you a, a lot of issues so put this little thing back cover it all right now don't forget put this back in Speaker back in. The hooks are right there. The hooks are right there. The hooks are right there. The hooks are up there. Right, and then now, next thing that I'm gonna do is, as I said, these clips up here are for when you're sliding in that top piece. So. Uh, speakers in um, the motor screw down I'm gonna take this tape off one last time oh and I'm gonna start screwing these and so these are T25s It goes in the door, the door cover. And I don't know.
okay now I know what broke off the clip for this broke so let me see if the other car has it So the other one, this right here is broken. So this is broken. So what I'm gonna do is just basically take one from one and put it on the other. So that's the first one. Second one. Show the way up. More. Let's turn it sideways. So we got that out. What is this? Huh? What is this? That's that's the one, that's the broken one. Why? Hmm? Why? I threw that one out because it's broken. Alright, so now we should be able to lock it in place. It's the next day. So we end up putting everything back on right here. The only thing is you have to make sure the, the, the little slit behind the thing is pushed in properly. So now it could it could close and open. So since we got now, we, so we have the ignition turned on. So now you see, we can let the window down and we can want, and we can bring it back up. No issues. So everything works. Uh, and all the screws are back into its correct in their correct places so yeah and the door it open and close so see I just lock the door it's open unlock open so everything works if I close from inside it can still open the door so now we know everything works all right so that's gonna be a wrap for this episode on we rebuilds as you can see we end up doing a basically that was just one of the lives that we did and we basically cut it down as short as possible to 30 minutes so there's still a lot of stuff that you'll see me doing in that video but anyways thank you for watching like share subscribe drop your comments down below hey don't forget so just check us out on our social media link. If you love our videos, hit that thumbs up button. If you don't love our videos, just hit that thumbs down. Hey, drop a comment so we can know how we doing. But anyways, stay positive, stay motivated, and guess what? We'll see you in the next one. Let's go.